In order to solve some or some particular polynomial expressions, we have to rely on a technique that we've learned through the idea of how to long divide, long division. So before we get to that point, let's just do a little bit of a briefer, briefer? Let's just do about a, a little bit of a review on how we did long division long time ago when we learned. So I have 26 dividing into 3,983. 26 is called my divider. 30, 3983 is called my divisor. I don't remember those all the time, but it's good to remember once in a while. So how do we divide? Well, I notice I had two terms. So I'm going to look at the first two terms and look, how many times does 26 go into 39? It goes in there one time. 1 times 26. I'll write that there. And then I will subtract those two numbers to figure out what my leftovers are. I have 13 leftovers. From here, I'll drop the 8 down. And now I have another problem I'm going to look at. How many times does 26 go into 138? Might have to think about it, go for a while. Um, I think it goes in there at least five times. So what are 526s? 5 times 6 is 30. Carry to 3, 5 times 2. Find out what my leftovers are. I have eight leftovers. I have another number that I need to drop down now. Now I look at how many times is 26 going to 83. And it looks like it goes in there at most three times. And it goes in there three times six is an eight. Uh, carry the one, six, seven. And I have a five. Five leftovers, no more numbers to drop. So this five is kind of my last set of leftovers. It's my remainder. So sometimes we write the answer as 153, remainder five. Or what it really means is that I have 153 and five parts of 26 left over. Remember that? Is that kind of coming back to you? Have we gotten so accustomed to having a little black box do the work for us that we may have forgotten how to long divide? Well, anyway, this is the long division algorithm. And it's this algorithm that's going to help us find out and weed out some more information within a polynomial function. I know you can't wait, can't you?